welcome to Tiddly Box. Hi, Tiddly Boppers. <laughs> Today's story is Holly's First Day at School by Sarah, Duchess of York, and illustrated by Ian Cunliffe. This is a helping handbook from Lloyd's Pharmacy. If you have any children starting school this September, then you'll know just how this little girl and her mummy feels. Okay, Holly couldn't stop talking. She had so many things she wanted to tell her mummy. And then we went to the playground and Manya came too. Manya's my new friend, she said, hardly taking a breath. You'll like her, Mummy. And we played hopscotch. And then we had drawing. I haven't finished my drawing yet, but I'm, I'm going to do some more tomorrow. Mrs Anderson says she likes my picture. And I just need to add more colours. Holly had so many things to say that they were home before her Mummy could get a word in. Well, I'm glad that you had such a busy day, Holly. I told you this morning that it was going to be exciting. Holly thought back to that morning and how she had felt. It seemed like such a long time ago now. She had been unhappy and a little frightened. She liked being at home with her mummy and Jake, her baby brother. And now she was going to have to spend some of every day away from them. Mummy and Daddy had taken her to school a few weeks ago so that she could see where it was and meet Mrs Anderson, the teacher. They had only been able to stay for a little while and Mummy and Daddy had been with her all the time, so it wasn't the same as being there all on her own. Holly had talked to Amy, her friend Charlotte's big sister, who had been at school for two years. It's great! Amy had said, you'll make lots of friends and Mrs Anderson is quite fun. Except for when she asks you to do sums. I don't like sums. Holly thought she wouldn't like sums either, but she liked the idea and loved the idea of making some new friends. That first morning, it all seemed a little bit strange. And although Holly was not the sort of girl who cried, Baby Jake did enough of that for both of them. She had felt tears in her eyes as her mummy had squeezed her hand at the school gates and said, You go with Mrs Anderson now. I shall be back this afternoon before you know. Holly joined lots of other children who looked just as lost as she did. Mrs Anderson guided them along the corridor to the school's assembly hall. The hall was big and noisy, full of children talking to one another, and all of them seemed to be older than Holly. A tall man walked into the room, clapped his hands and everyone stopped talking. Good morning, children, said the man, who Holly knew was the head teacher, Mr Wainwright. Welcome back to school. I hope you enjoyed the holidays, I know I did, and a special welcome to the children who are joining us this term. I hope you will be very happy here. After assembly, Mrs Anderson took all the children to the classroom, which Holly remembered for the first time she'd been before. It was a big room with lots of windows. Holly could see the playground outside. It had white walls, little wooden tables, blue chairs, and in one corner, a huge pile of building bricks. On the walls were pinned lots of colourful things. There was a big poster with all the different letters of the alphabet and a picture by each one. A is for apple and so on. Oh, it looks like a very beautiful classroom. I'm sure she'll be okay. On another wall were some children's drawings. Mrs Anderson explained that they had been done by last year's class, but she thought that they made the room seem brighter until the children had some pictures of their own to put up. 
There were drawings of cows and dogs and houses, trees and one of a very large bumblebee, which made Holly sh 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 shiver. First, we'll all sit in a circle and get to know each other, said Mrs Anderson. When they had sat down, she went round, everyone asking them their names and where they lived. Holly discovered that her new friend Mania lived just around the corner from her. They would be able to play together. The rest of the day passed in a whirl. Reading, playing, lunchtime and Holly's favourite drawing. What are you going to draw, Holly? asked Mrs Anderson. How about the playground? Holly looked out of the window and was soon busy with her pencil. So busy, in fact, that before she knew it, it was time to go home. Holly was one of the last to come out of the building as she'd been busy putting her pencils away. Are you all right, Holly? asked her mummy, who'd been waiting at the school gates for some time and was becoming a little anxious. Mummy, I'm fine, said Holly. Can I come back tomorrow? And then, without stopping, Holly began to tell her mummy everything about her busy first day at school. Oh, that's a lovely story. The end. And if you are starting school soon, I hope you have a wonderful time, just like Holly did. Goodbye.